So different, yet familiar somehow. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we met a new friend with Cassandra after hearing a Nopon legend in the Argentum Trade Guild, and then went and rescued somebody's teacher in Uriah. Might not be the most glamorous of all jobs, but it was still an important one, no less. And we got to know a good girl like Cassandra in the process. What's there not to like? This time, we find ourselves in Torigoth once more, where I think things will have a little bit more structure to them. There's just a lot of different things that we've had to do lately. And now, we're gonna go to the wall that started it all, Tora's hidden house door. Dadapon, Tora is here. Dadapon said he got letter for Tora. That's right. Very strange letter, meh. No name of sender. Shady, shady. Letter inside even more shady. Look. Hmm. Dear Tora. Handwriting's so terrible that Tora lost interest in reading. Whoever wrote this definitely few nop on doubloon short of horde, but Tata so advise read on. Okay, Dadapon. Dear Tora, gather following data of blades and input into poopy. Tora, I guess that mean poppy. And th then go to Bulge Harbor. Tora, I think it say Bulge Harbor anyway. In Morardane. Well, that's definitely mysterious. Do you have any idea who it might be from, Tora? No sender, perhaps a friend. Tora have no friends with such sloppy handwriting? He does not associate with such filth, but must be someone Tora know. They know all about Tora and Poopy, a poppy. Master Pan is interested in who it is. Of course Tora interested. Well then, why don't we just try doing what the letter says? Really, is that okay? Of course, Tora. I'm sure gathering this blade data it mentions will be no trouble if we all pitch in. I wouldn't make any promises until we hear what the extent of our task is. <sighs> okay, Tora endure more terrible handwriting to read details to friends. From plain ether cannon using girl blade, data on beam barrage special. From plain knuckle claw using boy blade, data on assault rush special. From plain twin rings using doggy blade, data on dual fang special. From plain great axe using boy blade, data on axe throw special. From plain shield hammer using girl blade, data on aerial shield special. From plain diplo using girl blade, data on flash bomb special. From plain negative blade, data on beam coverage special. From plain perfect using girl blade, data on moving special. You get all that? It says we need all eight of those pieces of data. Phew, tall order. But Rex Rex promised. Uh. No, it's fine. We'll do it. Piece of cake. Yay, Rex Rex is hero among men men. Don't worry, Rex. The rest of us shall lend our assistance. Morag is also hero among men men. When uh, with with friends helping, test should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Among whom? Uh, right then. Shall we get gathering? When we're done, we have to head to Bulge Harbor, right? That what letters say. Task is so as many, so Tora divvy them up into smaller bunches. We do in order. Okay, Dadapon, we get going. Don't know what kind of strange knop on wait at the end of quest, so must be careful. Shiny new power! Congratulations, Tora! You get to contribute absolutely nothing to this poppy upgrade quest because you can't pair with common blades. So common blades are actually going to get their time in the sun here today. Being up front, this is a quest from the DLC expansion pass. If you do not have that purchase, this quest will not appear. But maybe seeing this video will encourage you to decide whether or not you want to go for it. We need a common girl ether cannon and a common and a common boy knuckle claws. Hey, you're the boss. What do you know? Kunjiki fits the bill perfectly. He's going to be our first blade we're using here today. I would suggest playing this by pairing it up with another quest. That if there's just some quest that has some fighting in it, not really all that tough, I would suggest that. But because I don't want to overcomplicate things and have multiple storylines going on in the same video, hopping back and forth, I'm gonna go do salvaging instead. Let's oh, fail God. forgiving loss! I'm back. Miss me. Ha. Good, good, good. So what I like doing for this is fighting an enemy that's considerably weaker than me. Removing the others from the party and then just going solo so that way I can use the I'm specials the without any sort of interruption or with the enemy not, without having to worry about the enemy dying. 
I also haven't given these any core chips to raise their attack power because I want them hitting for next to nothing so it's easy to build up their stuff. There we go. So, common blades. They serve a real purpose. I've used them a few times up to this point. I've really wanted to use them more in some important contexts. There's the fact that Rex just... Did not mean to do that. Uh, Rex does not have a Knuckle Claws blade. But you might want an art in his Knuckle Claws set. I don't particularly like this set all that much. The, the blowdown's pretty good, I guess. Uh, it cancel attack damage up on that art, also pretty good. But Nia, for instance, has a launch art on her Knuckle Claws. If she doesn't have one of those, you can pretty easily get a common blade belonging to that and then use that. Um, I don't have an ether cannon on Rex either. And he's okay with them. These aren't really the best examples, unfortunately, but you're getting what I'm saying. There might be something in a certain weapon class's arts that's really good on a character, and uh, you might want that. Rex, for instance, is really good with the uh, with the great axe, and that has a, that has one of his. I think that has his only launch art actually. And I've used that a few times to get the driver combo more consistent. It's a reason why you wouldn't always want to use uh, rare blades for absolutely everything. Uh, Mithra, just Go nuke it out it. of the sky. Thank you. Well done. Maybe we're not. You're mine. Excellent. Now here's where it gets interesting. We're gonna open up this next one with an axe blade that's male. Got you up to S rank as well. That's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was. And then I also got, and then we also have to use an animal blade. I've said before that there is no, oh wow, you have indoor attack up 50% as a skill? Uh, I think this will be more helpful for the types of enemies That's we're gonna cool. be fighting in this Ooh, circumstance. Powers. So I've mentioned before that Dromark is the only rare Twin Rings blade of them all. Other than that, it's all common blades. Since we can't equip Dromark to Rex, the only way that we'll ever see these arts is through common blades. These are exclusive arts to these things. Rex has Wide Slash, doing increased damage from the side. Strong Saucer, it's an HP potion art. Eightfold Edge, increasing damage done to beasts. And Spin of Bravery is a circle physical attack around him. And while we're on the subject, I'm gonna have Morag awaken some common blades so that she can have an animal as well, so we can see that. What was that? What was that? Oh, it was the dog blood. <laughs> Ikazuchi, Earth Elemental. I gotta say, boy, for a one in eight chance, I sure failed it 10, 15, 15 times in a row. Okay, let's get the party started. The party started. Well, not a particularly special one. It could make Morag a little more self-sufficient, having Halo Strike as an HP potion art. Inferno Wheel is increased damage to beasts. Twin Moon Blade is just a standard damaging art, has high damage but a long recharge. And something that could only be cooler sounding if you put an X at the end of it, Revolution Flash for a healing move. Rex, you can do it. Wait here. I'll bring something great. Aw, what a good boy, cheering me on before I go out to do my work for the day. Onwards. That's another use for common blades, wholesome feelings. As a side note, they can have good field skills that can help that with numerous tasks. If something's feeling a bit grindy, they're here for you. Damn, your encouragement sucks. Seeing as how we have never seen a common Twin Rings blade in action before, and I don't know if we're gonna have much of an opportunity to do this, because honestly, I think Nia's got probably the best art set up for it, but we have to have Dromark equipped, and it would just feel redundant to equip another one. If it would let me to equip Dromark, I would happily do it to show you how good these guys can be. Uh, but let's do the level one special. These are unique specials not seen anywhere else. Level 1 special, Ripple Drive, is a physical attack, large AoE, and it heals the entire party relative to the damage that it does. Now for level 2, Dual Fang! Couldn't be anything else besides 2. 2 Dual is a smaller AoE, also has the same effect as level 1. Big change is Aether, which healing weapon classes tend to focus on. Level 3 is Fiora's favorite, Screw Edge, an Aether 3 hit attack that spawns HP potions. Level 4! Come on! Did I do that? They could have phoned this in, but no, they made it look cool. 
It's great. It's called Savage Chakra. It's ether, got four hits to it, heightened critical hit chances for each hit, and it always spawns two HP potions. What's not to love? Axe throw! Oh, that's bad. Thankfully, all we have to do is the level one special with the shield hammer. It's like they knew it was bad. Whoa, that looked cool. Throw it like a disc. If I'm going to be able to solo this, it's going to be with Mithra giving me my evasion, so let's get going. Well done. Maybe we're not probably be targeting another enemy so I get a blade combo going really fast. We're not going to win this. Not even close. See what I mean? How a group of enemies is really tough, even if uh, you're a much higher level than they are? This is what I mean about that quest before. The Merc group came back in the meantime while setting everything up. I read about this art in a book. Offense is the best defense, it read. I won't say that having a bitball common blade on Nia is a great choice when Crosshead exists, but I am saying that if you don't have the DLC, this is not a weapon class that is particularly great on its rare blades, with Vest being by far the best of them, and even she's not that good. Your best bitball for Nia might be a common blade, and I like this acrobatic bomber art as well as these healing arts on her. It's a good set for her. That's another use for common blades. DLC power creep might just not be accessible to you due to not having the expansion pass. And you know what? That's okay. Common blades are a good stand-in for those that weapon classes that don't really have particularly strong blades. I had to use a Mega Lance on Morag for this, and it brings to my attention that she has a Smash Art on her Mega Lance. Smash Arts are rare, and sometimes common blades belong to weapon classes on specific drivers that will give these. It is a legitimate reason to use them. Yet another one. A mistake I made that took me at least 10 minutes to figure out what was going wrong was using a giant type male blade when I'm supposed to just be using a male blade. They give entirely different specials, and that's something that apparently needs to be checked. That's all the common blade derping around that we gotta do. We have a new heart to heart to view, though. Poppy's remodel? We can view this one in Tora's house, and I thought it would be a nice way to make Tora feel like he's included in this without actually including him. Professor Tadazo is living in Tora's house now, and we can talk to him each and every chapter. Dadapon! Tora! Dadapon borrowing house of Tora, hope that okay. Need use of facilities for repairs of Lila. If, if it's for Lila, and use house of Tora as much as Dadapon want. Much thanks. It'd probably take quite long a, a while uh, before Lila able to function again, but Datapon fix her without fail. Work hard, Datapon. Tora know you can do it. Tora work too ha hard too, okay? Try not to cause too much trouble for friends. Datapon can say you for Lila, otherwise get lost. So, this is the abode of the mighty Tora. Hey, careful with hands! Lots of breakable and valuable things. What's this? Ah! That more than enough fiddling! Don't handle Taurus stuff! What's this? It's all fluffy. Is this a... bunnet costume? Doesn't look very scientific. That armor for Poppy! Armor. It's got ears and everything. This won't provide protection. It's more like something from a beauty pageant. This cutie bun bun armor! Cutie Bun Bun armor? Correct! The state of the art armor. Everyone wish they had such good defense. Additional function is to cheer up Master Pawn with extreme cuteness. It looks like that's its primary function. Cheer up effect can be boosted by initiating Tail Wiggle Dance Protocol. Tora, I think you have a little explaining to do here. <laughs> This armor that Tora built based on Dadapon and Grumpy Pon's design. This fruit of three generations of research. Tora, this is indefensible. Also, Tailwinkle Dance Protocol created entirely by Master Pon. Uh, indeed! Tora's scientific passion! I don't think this has much to do with scientific endeavor, Tora. You can't dress Poppy up like this. Tora, that's not cool. Master Pon, Poppy not understand. Don't listen, Poppy! 
Poppy should be proud of very special one-of-kind armor. Tora, you should get rid of this horrible thing. Hyra, maybe you could just reduce it to ashes for us. Okay, I'd be happy to. No! Do not destroy Tora's wonderful creation! Come here, Tora. Come here and explain yourself properly. No! No! Stop! Hot! Hot! Ah! Ah! Hey, burns! Um, if you listen to Tora's explanation, it makes perfect sense. I'm all ears, Tora. It's not thing that Tora make. <laughs> Nothing to do with Tora, really. This creation of Dadapon and Grumpy Pon, Tora never used. Is this true, Poppy? Correct. This armor was designed by Master Pon's Grumpy Pon. Master Pon's Dadapon improved design further and perfected its defensive capabilities. Huh. Is that right? That entirely right. Tora, not Fip Teller. Master Pon put finishing touches in form of Tail Wiggle Dance Protocol. <laughs> Master Pond will work feverishly on this feature. Tail Wiggle Protocol consume Master Pond's waking hours until he perfect wiggle angle and ear flap rate. Oh, is that so? That's very interesting, Tora. Poppy, Poppy, don't reveal Master Pond's secrets. Why not? This excellent opportunity to share Master Pond's research with group. Poppy's right. Really, this is fascinating. Do continue, Tora. I'd especially like to hear about your views on women. Meme. If there's one thing I can respect about him, it's that he called it Bun Bun. I just love the buns, okay? And not in that way. This was necessary for Poppy's growth and development. Poppy's battle sense increased. This is the most full affinity chart that we have. Block and attack nine times just to get her last skill on this level. And that's close to... Poppy is always the first blade that I fill up the affinity chart on. Every playthrough. Never been any different. And now that we've made it back to Taurus house, we have some overdue stuff. We're gonna have Mithra cook for us. No, Mithra doesn't cook, it's just Pyra. We can make the pan-fried tartari. And I want to bring up that for cooking, the uh, collection points around Fonset Village are really good. The ones that are in front and back of Corinne's house, really good for cooking, and there's a spot where Pyra can cook there. Crossette got a new recipe on our last visit to Morardane. This is found on the second floor of the west side of the city. She got blazing quote letta. Here's where to find all of those items. This gives minus 4% ether da damage taken, 75 more base affinity, and and an 8% max HP damage barrier. Pretty piss poor, and you don't even need to make it to further her affinity chart, so why bother? Taurus House also has this up top, and I don't know what it is. Basics of Tiger Tiger. D Hold the phone. Move with direction buttons, attack with A. Collect shinies and treasure. Friends must attack jellyfish from above, turtles from bottom. There is power up. Is this here normally? Because I swear I haven't s If this is paid DLC. Just why? I don't think it is paid DLC. I think I just missed this on my own time. Regardless, why is this not there from the beginning? And why is it so tucked away? This is like Pikmin 3 levels of bad tutorials where they tell you, hey, move with the control stick in the third area of the game. Down here is the Bulge Harbor. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. The last place we ever saw Banna. What kind of person would stand around waiting in a place like this? All of Banna's accomplices were rounded up, but this stinks of his handiwork. That letter was suspicious, all right. Poppy hate to say it, but this feel like trap. I've been waiting for this moment, Sora. Who that? Meh ho ho. Ha! <laughs> My back. Who you? 
Why you send Tor a letter? Why you want blade data? Sora, dear little pawn, you not recognize me? Huh? I, Susu, Grampy Pawn of Zora! Pull other wing, it got bells on. Meh meh. Did Tora forget voice and face of old Grampy Pawn? You look similar, but there's no way you're the real deal. Grampy Pawn was killed by Mui Mui. Meh meh meh. Tora not believe me. Sad day indeed. Feels like Susu might faint. Tora, are you sure this isn't your granddad? Grampy Pawn is dead as doornail. Besides, Grampy Pawn better at writing than this imposter. That sad effect of injury from Mui Mui. Limbs no longer move with grace of younger years. Plausibility level of story increased to unexpected levels. Tora still not believe. First dad upon alive, now somehow Grampy Pawn alive too? Life not that easy or convenient? Meh meh. They're nothing for it. This risky move, but Tora has forced my hand. There is proof that Susu who he say he is. What proof? Certain roots near Saffronia tree in Gwyneth Paddy's near Urion capital Fonsamima. What you dig up there will prove that I telling the truth. It seems like the only way. Shall we head there, Tora? Master Pond, let's go. Fine. But if this proof no good for convince us, we not come back here. That okay. Take care, Tora. He's the Terminator Pond? <laughs> Telling us the same thing. Susu was something that was not touched upon again for the rest of the main story. This was added in his DLC long after the game's release, so we actually had no idea what really was going on with Susu for quite a long time. This was a nice surprise. We're here. The way my mind works, I always associate images and audio with concepts rather than, you know, I guess just text definitions. And in the case of the Sophronia tree, I can never hear it as anything other than that one line where Ursula goes, It's a Sophronia tree, the way she says it. It's a Sophronia tree. It sticks with me for some Mission reason. Complete. Oh, hi. hi. First time I'm making this Merc group. You can take a break, Corvy. A squad name. Hmm. Perhapna good. Because we're always perhapna good time. <laughs> perhapna good returns. Good luck! Man, and here I was gonna make funny by calling you the <laughs> but you had to make a pun. Why are you just perfect by all of my standards? It feels so weird to me on the note of like Morag's blades that we have Cassandra so early. Cassandra was one of the very last things that I found uh, on my first playthrough. Uh, she was, I think, the last. She was the second, either the last or the second to last non-random blade that I got. And that sounds crazy though, but I never found Razzly Dazzly's thing in Argentum, and I tried using the informants for a while, and they were all, press A to advance text boxes, 4000G please! So I just stopped using them, assuming they were useless. Not safe for work folio? Tora, Tora, what's inside? T Tora cannot show? It very top secret information if Rex C is head explode. What are you blathering about? Just show us already. No, Tora cannot! This special book of Grampy Pond! Oh, I see where this is going. Grampy Pond, Dad Pond, and Tora used in his design bible for making of artificial blades! Poppy and Lila's designs, eh? If that book influenced your designs, I'm not sure I want to see what's inside. Yeah, let's not dwell on that. Anyway, this means that Nopon, that Nopon really is your Grampy, uh, your granddad. Meh meh. That true. This book very precious to Grampy Pawn. He spent many hours locked in room with it. Presence of book means that to definitely Tora's Grampy Pawn Zuzu. Grampy Pawn is alive! Master Pawn, let's go back to Bulge Harbor right away. Yes, Grampy Pawn is waiting. Boy, when we show him we got this book back, I bet he'll have a real bulge in his harbor. On the way back, I'd like to show a few easy to grab treasure chests in the old factory that I don't think we'll have a good chance to grab otherwise. What I do Let's is, go. oh, I Treasure look to the right. Well, that's one thing I missed. This place is overly detailed. I'm sorry, but it is. There's a red chest right there. 
I believe that's what I aim to get here. We can open up this lattice door. And then we could jump down and get into that building. <laughs> The map is exceptionally oh. unhelpful here. It's so irritating to navigate. Ironic, I'm complaining about quality control and this is what I find. I I, I never like this place at all. Your this red mind. chest has Affinity Max Evade 2, a good, good uh, ox core. But then there's this one over here past that locked door. Oh lock picking oh level God. two, easy peasy. I'm worrying about level lock picking level six now. I'm all grown up. Get a common core crystal and a damage heal two. And I think that's it. It's just a few chests. We can now open up all the lattice doors. All the doors are unlocked. Just a few easy to grab chests that are worth your time. And now, the conclusion. The dramatic conclusion. Tora, it looked like you found what I hoped. Now do you believe me? What wrong, Tora? Did Tora forget bygone days when we worked together so passionately with Sunny Pontatazo? Tora not forget, you real Grappy Pon Susu! Meme, Tora! You real biggie paw now, Tora. Taller than Susu. <laughs> Thanks to eat tasty sausage every day. Tasty sausage every day. Ew. Anyway, that enough reunioning. There are special important tasks to do. Did Tora input blade data into Poppy like Susu write in letter? Yes, with help from friends, Tora collected all data. But why Grampy Pond needs such battle data? It is it for benefit of friend, friend it for benefit friends of Tora. But how would help Rex Rex? Poppy, please come with Susu. Master Pon, permission to go? It's okay, Poppy. Follow Grampy Pon. Understood. If situation become uncomfortable, Poppy will activate Stranger Danger protocol immediately. <laughs> Why assume such thing of Grampy Pon? Is Poppy really gonna be okay? Tora have no idea what his big I have no idea what his big idea is, but Tora trust Grampy Pond. Hope that is not big mistake. Knowing what I do of your grandfather's provocativities, <coughs> proclivities, Tora, perhaps you are right to doubt. Everyone, sorry to keep friends waiting. She's a pop star. Poppy, what in all rest, Grampy Pond Susu do? Some kind of new paint job? She's got antenna, I know. He make modifications? Negative. This puppy is Puppy Mark II. It's great honor to meet friends of Professor. Huh? He's made a second puppy? <laughs> That's not quite right. Poppy Mark II operate under remote control of Poppy. Exactly. Poppy Mark II have no will of her own. Poppy do steering and play Poppy voice through clever speaker system. This function open world of possibility, like fresh new improv routine where Poppy play off of Poppy. Shall Poppy demonstrate? That sounds fascinating but perhaps best left for another time. So Grampy Pond want Rex Rex and friends to also have Poppy they can use! And that way make Poppy Mark too. Wow, we'd be pretty unstoppable with another Poppy by our side. <laughs> friends still thinking small like tasty sausage for Little Pond. So soon not have time to dream small. What's he on about? Poppy? Please execute program. Poppy, hear and obey.
Why is it shaped like a knot one? It is kind of cute, though. Thank you kindly for your compliment. You too are exceedingly cute. It talks. Susu Equip It with specially crafted artificial intelligence program is made to support Poppy. Yes, I am indeed, if you pardon the self-aggrandizement, a superlative AI. Your awe is fully warranted. Whoa! Oh, oh this is only tippity tip of iceberg. Poppy? Hmm. On mark, ready, go! Poppy Buster, initiate transformation! Acknowledged, ma'am. This poppy. The poppy buster is standing by to excel, pending your orders. Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> Grampy Pond is the claw! Tora not think Grampy Pond had it in him! This increased Tora's opinion of Grampy Pond by a factor of five! Meh ho ho! Grampy Pond have many years to expand scope of reading material! As I say before, no longer have time to waste on dreaming small. Tora underestimate Grampy Pond, but now Tora adjust estimation! Adjust upward! Meh ho ho! Right, so how would we make use of this poppy buster then? Thanks to the data you kindly collected, I can operate to the greatest effect irrespective of my driver's experience. In other word, Poppy Buster can become Blade of Rex or Blade of Nia, is no matter. Can Poppy Buster be Blade of Tora? Tora already have Poppy. Absolutely correct. Poppy always fight by Master Pond's side. Touching words move heart of Tora. As long as Tora have Poppy, Tora not need stupid Poppy Buster. Would you like me to crush him for you, ma'am? Mama! Tora misspoke. Poppy Buster is greatest of inventions. Please do not crush! Now it is time. Poppy Buster seemed to be brimming with pep and attitude. Anyone want to go for test drive? Totally. Then, for test purposes, go to Morrow Dan and defeat Maxos Arachno. Good choice for first opponent. Poppy. You not used to fighting while also controlling Poppy Mark II, so best to take things slow at first. Your fear is absurd and unwarranted, considering I will be there to support Miss Poppy. Poppy feel more confident already. P personality matrix appears slightly outside initial parameters, but learn by doing seem like best approach. That sounds good to Poppy. I remember thinking as a kid that if I just worked my computer really hard that it would get stronger like how a person can exercise and it bothered me so much that it didn't really seem to be working when I was trying that I would give it hard tasks to do like things outside of its system requirements assuming that it would just get better over time. You can now engage Poppy Buster as a blade. Currently he's engaged on Rex. However, you can engage the Poppy Buster to any driver except Tora at any time without having to spend an overdrive protocol. To do so, simply select him on the right driver's engage blade screen. Feel free to use the newly built power of the Poppy Buster in whatever best suits your battle needs. The correct answer is Morag.
I don't like how it starts out on Rex by default. Uh, we also gonna have to switch this around because you can't switch off somebody who was in their top position. Give it Mithra. Counting on you. Poppy Buster's main gimmick from Other Blades is that, being a living overdrive. No items needed to move drivers. Poppy Buster, quite a big blade actually. Might even be the biggest of all blades. Well, besides Rosa. Starts off with some pitiful stats. Let's change that. You are a light elemented shield hammer, and once again, we have a pretty good shield hammer on our hands. The two best shield hammers in the game right in a row. You grant 40% physical defense, 35% ether defense, and 15% agility to your driver. Out of everything, I like the motor chip. High block rate, high auto attack. Go. Pitiful critical. Poppy Buster has three ox core slots. I'm running out of ox cores to put into these. I'll give you an elemental orb prioritizer. I'll go Affinity Max Attack, that's pretty good on you. Corvin's on a leave of absence, so this outdoor attack up can go on you. Poppy Buster, like sniffing your meat. Researching new power source. This hardly seems scientific. And also like sniffing your board games. Hmm, interesting. There will be quiz later. Purchasable in Fonsamima is Napopo Yard, Poppy Buster's favorite item and a damn good one for him as well. Hmm. Interesting. There will be quiz later. Poppy, use it to stress test logic circuits. Special recharge is an effect I would highly recommend on Poppy Buster. And the other, Taurus snack of choice and yours too, Tasty Sausage! Researching new power source. This hardly seems scientific. Is this for me? No, that for Poppy. Give back. Arguing over a sausage. Usually favorite items are hinted at in cutscenes or through subtext or sometimes even in gameplay based on things that characters say during battle or after resting at an inn. It's yet another way that they fuse gameplay and story in interesting ways. This is purchasable in Torigoth at the Butchers. Though this is not Tora's favorite or even a remotely liked item by him for some reason. Off and more Ardain! Uh, Kind of torn. I'm kind of glad that we're back here because I get to enjoy the coolness of it without having to actually sit through the story that takes place here. I don't even like how the story in More Ordain ends. Fan just kind of comes out of nowhere. You play that first fight with your awesome new party member and you lose it every time because Morag sucks when she joins you. Oh, whoa! Damn, you're just full of surprises, man. Okay, let's not beat around the bush anymore. Let's get the show on the road. Poppy Buster is the best shield hammer in the game. I'd expect nothing less from the Poppy lineage taking in this weapon class and making it its own. We're gonna start off the battle skills with Hyper Affinity Circuit. Deals more damage and takes less damage when it max affinity, making Hunter's Chemistry even better than on your average blade. The skill is also the reason why Affinity Max Attack is such a good pick. Really good blade to have. Level one special, let's get this fusion combo started. Buster Cyclone is a seven hit attack, has a lot of area to it and some blowdown. I would have called it breakdancing knop on, but that's just me. Second ability, we have hardware acceleration, my favorite video rendering mode. This makes it so that auto attack and art speeds are increased, aiding the fact that Poppy Buster is a shield hammer, helping with the slow speed and mitigating that weakness. Level two special, oh, we're getting all the fusion combos here. Buster Cannon is an ether one-hit attack, pow! It's blow down, it's attacks in a circle, and it has a chance of guard annulling. But we'll keep going. And ability number three, not rehabilitate, but reconstitute, increases damage of the level four special every time it's used. All thanks to Foresight, of course. Good sign, we're out to change the future, aren't we? Uh... Right, I totally agree. Listen to the girl, Rex. Rex, I'm sorry, but you don't get visions. Your ability is not as cool as that. I'm sorry to break it to you. Because of that, Poppy Buster also sports one of the best level four specials in the entire game. The maximum damage it can reach is unreal. And anything that you can do to get up to a level four special, absolutely do. It's why I recommended special charge uh, for Poppy Buster so highly. Of course, that fight wasn't long yeah. enough to see it, and that's one Let of the problems. Going. How often do you get to use a level four special multiple times? Poppy Buster is very strong, very hard to kill, but is best in long fights as opposed to short ones. Expressions on faces tell Susu that test drive was success. Naturally it was. You can't possibly have expected me to fail, can you? 
With full support from Poppy Buster, Poppy could give 110% energy output. That great to hear! Was anything needing tune up? Poppy and Poppy Mark II both operating with no glitches whatsoever. My performance was also flawless. Great news, great news. In that case, Susu give Poppy Buster to friends as planned. I'm thinking I might have to enjoy your company, friends and friends. Likewise. Meh ho ho. Then it about time for Susu to go back into hiding. Grampy Pond not want to see Dad upon. Tatazo now living perfectly content life without his Dad upon. Maybe best to leave it that way. After all, great achievement of make Poppy and Lila also possible because Susu not in picture anymore. I believe it better for Tora and Tatiso to stand on own feet, keeping inventing and wondrous inventions. Tora have complicated feelings now. Grampy Pawn, will we meet again? But of course, dear friends of Tora, please take good care of Tora and Poppy and Poppy Mark II and Poppy Buster II. You've got it. We're a caring bunch, really. Please take care of self, Professor. Thank you. Susu will sh surely will. Until we meet again. Say, now that I think about it, what's the name mean? Poppy Buster. I totally forgot to ask. Yes, it has been bothering me too. Poppy Buster, do you know? Of course I know. Miss Poppy chose it for me. Poppy choose name like that? Indeed. Poppy cho chose most proper sounding name from list three provided by Professor Susu. What do you mean, proper sounding? Three top ideas from a professor were, number one, Poppy Obey Powered Panzer Inferno, a reference to Cosmos from Xenosaga. Number two, Susu pre presents new Poppy XL Deluxe, Nintendo making fun of their own confusing console names. And number three was Poppy Buster. That's one hell of a choice. Yes, naming sense of Grampy Pond always was notoriously bad. I can definitely see why you'd choose Poppy Buster over the other two. As added bit of trivia, name meant to suggest uh, po enough power to take on even Poppy. Poppy think that's slightly in bad taste, but then again, what do Poppy know? Coolness of name is paramount. Poppy got that right, makes choices correct. Tora very proud. To quote great Nopon scholar, meh ho ho. Well, I think we, uh, I feel a lot better knowing where the name came from. Let's keep up the good work, Poppy Buster. Yes, please do. I myself will undoubtedly excel enough to make you swoon, ma'am. I'm sure that together we will make it as much as Poppy not think ego of Master Pond need any more stroking, to be fair. Can I just add how messed up it is that Susu has that half robot face and it's explicitly stated that it's because of the bullet wound that Mui Mui left in his head. Nopon always have the most messed up and sad lives. Motor chip, three of them, gold Nopon mask, physical defense up. The golden Nopon mask grants the highest effect for increasing aggro every second out of any accessory. This effect is still not good. You're just likely to lose aggro slower than you would otherwise whenever you have it because aggro goes down over time. We've been over this before. Don't like that very much. The motor chip, on the other hand, is what I already gave to Poppy Buster. The irony. This would pretty factually improve Dromark. Not sure about cross set, less sure on that one, maybe. Mithra would take a massive hit to her critical hit rate. But she would get a lot of auto attack. I'm gonna give this one to Poppy Alpha. That gives her a 48% block rate and a factual increase to her damage. Lower critical rate, but who cares? No one plays Poppy Alpha for the crit rate. We'll probably be using Cassandra in the party for a while because she is all new and shiny. Sure, you can take this. You're a pretty decent shield hammer and we already like this on Poppy Buster, so why not? I went off and Poppy Buster unlocked level two. Optic sensors powered up. All systems nominal. I guess you do need your optic sensors to see insects. Uh, I require more items to refine my algorithms. <laughs> Uh, we got some other stuff right here. Super strength is the field skill, uh, up to level five. That's pretty useful. Salvaging mastery, gonna be really useful whenever we have to do quests that involve that. And entomology can be gotten up to level three quite easily. We weren't able to knock out everything in one shot, but Poppy Buster can be involved in some more fights going forward. We'll see the level three and four specials and anything else that's important to deal with Poppy Buster then. That's all for now. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're gonna head back to Toragoth and take care of something for the Ardanian military. 
See you guys then.